My name is Marion, uh, Marion Goldstone, and I work with Mood Disorders Association of Manitoba. I'm here in the Westman region, which includes a great big region, including Brandon, all the way up to Russell in the north, American border in the south, Saskatchewan border in the west, and I'm pretty sure there's a line in a farmer's field someplace between Nipawa and Gladstone. That would be the eastern border. Our purpose would be to provide education about mood disorders to folks affected by them, but also to the general public, because we're trying to also reduce a bit of stigma that exists in society. The biggest thing that we do, I think, is that we provide support. And that can be through one-on-one -on -one talks, it can be through our peer groups, it can be through our educational groups, it can be through the presentations that we do in the community. We're not a clinical service. We are peer support. And by that I mean everyone who facilitates a group for mood disorders, everyone who works for mood disorders has had some kind of shared or lived, I have both, um, experience with a mood disorder. We're all affected by mental health. Mental health is health. And it's a sliding scale. We all have good days, we all have bad days. A diagnosis of a mental health issue is something a little more serious. If we go a couple of weeks, absolutely no interest in our regular activities, unable to function in our regular way, no breaks in it. Yes, we probably do need to seek the help of a professional and see what's going on. That's an issue. One in four Manitobans will have some experience, direct experience, lived or shared with a mood disorder in their lifetime. One in four. And I say, hmm, that's only the ones that are honest. With the assistance of United Way money, we are able to harness our volunteers, we're able to percolate all kinds of ideas, and we're able to get them out into the community to an extent that we could not even get our head around if we were just dealing with money that as an organization we are able to have. We need the support of folks like United Way. There are people today who are glowing that would not be glowing if it hadn't been for that United Way money.